bem aqui Viver Ribeiro da Viva Idiomas, hoje começando mais uma Tea Talk, ok? E o meu convidado de hoje é um meu amigo que gosta muito de festas, é um cara muito descolado, ele curte muito o Brasil e foi um amigo que eu conheci numa situação muito inusitada através da mãe dele numa consulta médica. Então eu quero convidar hoje para conversar aqui com a gente, Philip. Hi there! Cheers! Hi. Cheers! How are you doing? <laughs> I'm fine, I'm fine. How are you doing? Hey, I'm great. Much better now talking to you after such a long time. <laughs> yeah, it's been too long, huh? Too I should long. come visit you. Yes, too long, I agree. So, yeah. uh, tell me, you're from Holland, right? Uh, what's your hometown and where are you living right now? And if possible, can you show us around the place where you are? Looks great, by the way. Sure, sure, sure. So, well, as you, as you already know, I live in the Netherlands. Uh, the city where I live in is Utrecht. I think they pronounce it in my country as Utrecht. So very difficult for other languages to pronounce. Indeed. Um, yeah, I live in the, in the city center is about five minutes. So if you ever visit the Netherlands, everything is tiny and very close to each other. So if I say city center is only five minutes, it's literally on our bicycle. We can go there in five minutes, right. not like a Paulo bus for an hour. Exactly. <laughs> because it's just a little bit smaller, but it's nice, but it's nice. Right. And, um, and, and, and you asked me where I am right now and to show a bit around. Well, um, it's funny actually, because I'm walking on houses as we speak. But if I would show a little bit of, of the, the roof place where I just had dinner, Oh, that's cool. That's just uh, great, huh? Looks like you're having a great summer over there. Yes, we are. And we are very happy as a Dutch with the few days of summer we have. Uh, enjoy it <laughs> to the fullest. Thank you very much. Okay, and Philippe, what do you do? <clears throat> uh, I work for an ICT company uh, in the Netherlands and I work in stills. So uh, oh, usually I just said. I visit the bigger companies, so the real big corporates like, probably you'll know, like Shell or, or maybe uh, Unilever, uh, you'll probably also know. Those companies I visit and I try to help them with their ICT environment. And um, usually it's in Dutch, but because they're so big, the companies, uh, sometimes they even have English as their, as their, as their native language. Oh. So I have to speak during uh, all my visits. I see. Philip, what do you like most about your country, the Netherlands? <laughs> Difficult question, because I like Brazil so much, huh? Uh -huh I know. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, my own country, well, you know what it is? Um, it's, it's things, it, well, mainly in Europe, I guess, but definitely in the northern countries of, of, of of Europe, so also Netherlands, everything is very well arranged. So the trains really work well. You can arrive everywhere in the Netherlands within no time. Uh, the people are, are well educated in general. So they're, they're very um, um, smart, but they're also very open and willing to, to lend a hand or, or welcome you to, uh, to a drink or to a dinner or anything. Um, it's a very open culture, I guess. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I always say the Dutch guy on holiday is the Brazilian guy during the day. <laughs> But then again, maybe I met the best Brazilian guys ever. So, you know, maybe. that could be the case. And talking about Brazil, you have mentioned it already, like, I think twice. Philip, you have lived in Brazil for some time, right? Can you tell us a little bit about this amazing experience of yours? Sure, sure, sure. So uh, I lived in uh, São Paulo for uh, for five months, mm -hmm. and uh, I've studied there at USP and um, followed many subjects there in as well in Portuguese, and more actually in Portuguese than in English. <laughs> It was very difficult for me because I didn't know the language, of course. Uh, but I met so many nice people there and uh, went to to parties and visited. Uh, the Amazonias and visited Salvador, <laughs> visited all, all these places which, which the country had to offer. And, um, and I think still today, 
um, actually even today, uh, next to next to you as a, as as a friend from Brazil, uh, I had contact with another friend from Brazil, and he was saying, "Hey, I, I hear you're looking for a new roommate." Um, and he 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 was actually living now and working in Germany, and he said, "I've got a roommate from from Mexico oh. who is now going to live in the Netherlands. So go and talk to her because she's oh. looking for a roommate. We can live together." Yeah, and that's just amazing how this network. Yeah. always comes together somehow yes and when you speak a language like english you have no barriers you know yeah it's true it's true and what did you like most about brazil ah. the parties the tourist places all the sightseeing but what did you like most about uh, my country about brazil uh, i think most i like the cultura cultura your culture is the the people i mean right the 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 people are they really know what life is <laughs> all right yeah. when i was every time i meet a foreigner they say like brazilian people do know how to party yeah I yeah but also yeah, I also know how to do yes and i remember if i'm not mistaken that you could speak some Portuguese. Can you still speak some Portuguese? É, a verdade. É, eu falo um pouco de português, mas é muito, muito, é, muito mal. <risos> Não, tá bom. Tá ótimo. Posso me entender. Amor. Não? Sim. <risos> Okay. All right. That's cool. That's good. Cool. And how did you learn English? Uh, well, um, in the Netherlands, we uh, we already in primary school we get lessons and classes in English. Um, however, it's it's I think we're kind of cheating as the Dutch because we already get a lot of English in television, and we even in our language in our own language we have a few. Uh, is it? blended words from English. Mm -hmm. and basically from the computer age onwards, we just took words from English and put them in our language and we just pronounce it in an English way, but mm -hmm. everybody understands. <laughs> um, and all the movies that you see in television, they're all in original version. And as Hollywood kind of makes 90% of all good movies, yeah. um, we, we see and we learn from the movies as we grow up actually. No subtitles needed, right? <laughs> no, no subtitles needed. Okay, now I think everybody's curious or eager to ask you this question. So your country, the Netherlands, is very famous for being very tolerant or open-minded, as you said in the beginning, with others. And also because of the red light district, uh, legalization of marijuana, euthanasia, abortion, etc. What's your opinion about it, Philip? Well... I think if everybody knows about the bad things that it can bring and there's no need to avoid um, like legal implications or like police, you know, chasing you because always when it gets exciting, you know, when you're a kid and you're doing something that's not allowed, you're always feeling very, you know, very excited to do it uh -huh. and this feeling of excitement, uh, is a little bit taken away because it's, it's it's okay in certain areas to do so. Uh, so what you also see marijuana, um, I think the the, the the issues with marijuana in in the states is much worse than it is in the Netherlands. We don't have any troubles with it. Uh, maybe same for red light districts, um, those things. So, so I think it's a, it's a good thing, and uh, I always wonder if the same thing in Germany. I don't know if you know, but in some highways in Germany, you can drive in a limited speed. Yes, it's true. And because because they, they have this in their country, um, they're they're according to me they're the best drivers there are in Europe. Mm. But I wonder if we same thing in the Netherlands, would we be the best drivers? I don't think so. I don't think so. It would work for every country. I see. Uh, but you know, in this case, we just had a little bit of luck, and it is accepted well. And we know the dangers well uh, of marijuana, red light, all those things. 
Um, actually, a funny fact is, is that in the Red Lights District in Amsterdam, it's kind of a place to go out. So even families with children, they yeah. walk through the Red Light District and have a drink. Yeah, I have seen that a lot. Like uh, families going for a walk, taking a stroll with the little kids, seeing the girls on the windows. Like, come on, this is crazy. I was so amazed by that. Really cool experience. All right, and now yeah. to finish my last question, could you teach us a very nice expression or slang in Dutch language that's like being very used at the moment in your region or in the country? Something nice to say in Dutch that you teach in Brazilian people? I, th I think so. I think, um, I'm not sure if it's, I don't think it's a saying in English. But we've got a saying, and if you translate it literally into English, we would say um, we sometimes have a story that doesn't make any sense. So you're making something up, right? You're making yeah. a kind of a joke. Sure. And so, sometimes they say you pull a you pull a monkey out of your sleeve. Mm -hmm. And how would you say that? In and that's that's. And and in Dutch we would say it's a bread a bread with a monkey in between. I don't know why, but <laughs> the Dutch are pretty great. Okay, can and you You're actually eating a, eating a sandwich monkey. Okay, I'm not sure I got it. It's so, a and bread then, with the monk. Can you, can you say that again? It's a bread? Yeah, so if I say that in Dutch, it would be uh, a broodje aap. Mm, that, okay, all right. So you're saying something that is not true. It's a, it's a joke. You're saying a bread monkey. Okay, <laughs> I use that next time. Doesn't make sense. I will. I will. I'll keep that in mind. <laughs> All right, <laughs> it was really nice talking to you. I had a great time. Thank you for your time for talking to us a little bit. It's always nice to talk Thank to you. you. And keep in mind when you come to Brazil, just give me a ring and let me know, and we will <clears throat> meet around. Okay, we will meet somewhere in this huge country of mine, you know. <laughs> and the same thing, if you're ever in the Netherlands, come and visit me. We'll have a Dutch cup of coffee, a Dutch beer, maybe have a walk around. And um, right -bye. be sure to bring some of your students here because then we can uh, maybe practice some English, maybe practice some Dutch. Absolutely. We'll definitely have a party in the Netherlands as well. Absolutely. All right. Thank you very much. Gente, essa foi mais uma tchau. Se você gostou desse vídeo, peço que você dá um clique aí, use toda a tecnologia da tecla curtir, ou até mesmo compartilhe, marque um amigo que você acha interessante. Se você gosta da Holanda, da cultura holandesa, assista esse vídeo, compartilhe, passe esse conteúdo para frente e viva o um mundo sem fronteiras.